Elite Facts presents Five Strangest Science Experiments Ever Five The Great American Monkey Head Transplant In 1970, a neuroscientist called Robert White made steps towards methods of making human heads and bodies interchangeable. He trialed his idea using a monkey's head and a separate monkey's body. He attached the two parts together and was, in fact, successful in creating one new monkey. The monkey awoke in a terrible mood, which he took out on one of White's team, who had a near miss with a nasty bite. The monkey only lived for 36 hours, during which time it was paralyzed due to the spinal cord not being linked up to the brain. This is something doctors have not managed to do today. Robert White died in 2010, having never progressed his trials to humans. He is said to have been theorizing about using his work to potentially give Stephen Hawking or Christopher Reeve a new body. The idea of transplanting human heads onto the bodies of other humans is something that many scientists think will come to fruition this century. 4. Mind Control During the 1950s, a classified program was set up by the CIA to search for medicines as well as other methods with which to control people's minds. The research was titled MKUltra, and for 20 years a range of ideas were trialed, including depriving subjects of sleep, electrical shocks, and hallucinations. The intention was to be able to brainwash people. There were over 150 trials set up. One test involved spiking drinks of people in bars in New York and San Francisco with LSD. Researchers then monitored the effects of the drugs on those given it. In another test, heroin addicts were the subjects, and they were persuaded to try the LSD after being told that they were being given heroin. 1973's Watergate scandal put a stop to the trials after the director of the CIA, Richard Helms, made sure that no documentation existed. There were a few leaks, however, which prompted the 1977 Freedom of Information Act to order the release of over 20,000 pages of documents detailing the dark program. 3. Deadly Nurses The CIA didn't think about just telling people what to do, though, preferring to spend their time attempting to brainwash people. Charles Hoffling went down the simpler route. Influenced by the 1963 experiments by the social psychologist Stanley Milgram, who had tested students at Yale University and found that they would give a fatal electric shock to strangers if they were told to do so by someone in authority, Hoffling decided to take this research one step further by testing subjects who were not aware that they were being tested. He published a paper in 1966 detailing his findings, and it turned out that he had used the nurse-physician relationship as the focus of his study. He used a doctor to order night shift nurses to give double the dose of non-approved drugs to patients. The nurses did not know the drug was a placebo, or that the doctor was not actually a doctor. The instructions for the administration of the drug was clearly written on the packaging, so it is assumed that the nurses were aware that they were giving the incorrect amount. Despite this, 21 of the 22 nurses involved in the trial followed the doctor's orders. They had been given the instructions via telephone, which they were not allowed to do, nor were they supposed to administer non-approved medications no matter what they were asked to do. This experiment clearly shows how influential authority is over the ethical judgments of others. 2. Human-Ape Hybrid People had suspected that the Soviets were experimenting with human-ape hybrids for long before the truth of the matter actually came to light, after the collapse of the Soviet Union. The Russian archives were opened, and it was found that there really were experiments taking place which involved the breedings of human beings with chimpanzees. As a famous expert in the field of veterinary reproductive biology, Dr. Ilya Ivanov was well qualified to head such trials. It was his ambition to delve into unknown realms of breeding and his research began when he visited Africa in 1927 in order to do just that. He worked at a research center in West Guinea, where his research was hampered by the local staff at the center. It was necessary for him to keep his research completely hidden, and so he spent much time and energy keeping it from the staff. The only records he was able to make were confirmations of his attempting artificial insemination of two female chimps with human sperm neither of which was successful. He left Africa for the Soviet Union, taking with him an orangutan he called Tarzan. He had decided to conduct his experiments somewhere that was more open-minded to the type of research he was interested in, having feared the consequences of discovery in West Guinea. He put out an inquiry for volunteer subjects, specifying that they should be women who would be willing to be impregnated by an orangutan and carry the fetus to term. 
Surprisingly, a number of women responded to the advert. The whole thing came to an end when Tarzan died, and Ivanov ended up spending time in a prison camp. People have speculated as to whether the Soviet scientists kept working on the idea. However, there has not yet been any reported success in the area. 1. Demikov's Two-Headed Dogs Vladimir Demikov brought the world a two-headed dog in 1954. He had created the creature surgically, working in a laboratory just outside Moscow. He managed to attach the front half of a puppy to the neck of a fully grown German Shepherd dog. He premiered his obscene creation to the world's media, where he showed how the two heads could drink a bowl of milk at the same time. Unfortunately, the milk the puppy had drank, having nowhere to go, spilled out from the end of the dog's esophagus, which was not attached to the German Shepherd's body. The Soviet Union claimed that Demikhov's creation proved the country's prominence in the medical world. Demikhov continued working on his two-headed dog idea for the following 15 years, during which time he made 20 of the creatures. The longest any of them lived was one month, all of them dying from tissue rejection. Demikhov claimed that this work with the dogs was to pave the way for him to transplant human hearts and lungs. Unfortunately for Demikhov, Dr. Christian Barnard got there first in 1967, although Demikhov is given credit for his early work in the techniques. What's the strangest scientific experiment you've ever heard about? Let us know about it in the comments section below, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.